Good morning, Divine Feminine. How are you doing this morning? I hope all is going well with you, and I hope and pray that you have an awesome day. Okay, Divine Feminine, we're going to get into your daily love reading. I'm going to do a, something a little bit different, okay? I'm going to get a theme for the reading, and then I'm going to pull out um, three um, three energies, and then I'm going to clarify with the moonology so we could get a different type of message coming through for you okay and then um i might do another reading where i have my traditional spread set up okay all right all right my lovelies please keep in mind that this reading is general the energies are fluid and the message is timeless okay all right all right holy spirit holy angels what is thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of my collective divine feminines. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will give me clear and precise messages as I open myself up to you through the Tarot to receive these messages. Heavenly Father, I pray for your protection and your peace as I allow myself to be a channel and a vessel for your love and your ascension. In the name of Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we thank you. Amen. Okay. The theme of your reading is go with the flow. Okay, so maybe you need to relax. Maybe you, let, you need to let God, and we have abundance at the bottom of the day. Maybe you need to let go and let God. Um, but it's giving me, you just need to relax. Um, something here is very exciting. Moving forward in abundance, yes, and go with the flow. Yes, something is uh, overly exciting right now. It's a little bit of um, anxiety around it. It's like a too good to be true type energy here for you. So let's see what the um, spirit has to say, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for my divine feminines, please? What messages do you have for... That's way too many. No, I don't want all of them. Holy Spirit, let's break that down. Here, let's make some room first. All right. There. All right, let's break this down real quick. Sorry, guys, but trying something new here, okay? All right. Well, this is old. <coughs> Excuse me. This spread is not new to me, but I wanted to try. I mean, I wanted to start doing it with the Divine Feminines, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what message do you have for my Divine Feminines? That's way too many, honey. Let's break that down, please, and thank you. All right. Oh, there we go. There go the flow. There go the energy. I feel it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nope, I don't need all of them. I just need these. Thank you. I appreciate that. This is what? Five, dang. Okay, I thought it was three, but we're going to go ahead and take it since I said it. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have take the lead. So go with the flow, take the lead. So it's something that you really need to take initiative in. But you need to just woosah, relax, and <laughs> leave it up to the universe. Let's see what we got. Because we got a lot. We have spread your wings. We have seek. This is the hermit energy. We have embrace, which is the world energy. We have challenging times. Uh -huh, that's the anxiety. And then we have victory and success. And then we have love abounds. Oh, honey, hush. Yeah, it's time to get back out there. Divine feminine. You're in hermit energy right now. So, you know, you're taking a lot of time to self-reflect and think back on what it is that you want to go through you've been through some challenging times meaning that you could have been through a heartbreak you could have been through some type of disappointment but you came out on the other side because you closed that cycle out and now you have love abounds again so it seems like you're ready to accept a new relationship a new love chapter something of the sort here okay we we'll take the lead Ooh, and patience hey and then we have <laughs> divine masculine uh-huh taking back self-control here this is self-control with authority and take the lead some of you guys are bosses at your job um i just had to say that because you could have found love on the job but you're the boss <laughs> this is for some of you guys but yeah this is taking back self-control this is also to taking back your power after being a little um on the downside i would want to say because with the challenging times and hermit oh yeah something happened to where you went inside yourself to find yourself in order for you to close out a cycle and become a better butterfly <laughs> sitting next to his victory and success you doggone tootin and love abounds oh yes some of you have some of you guys have new love after a heartbreak here which is beautiful if you don't you will this is with that go with the flow and take the lead and patience oh yeah 
Oh yeah, um, patience energy is the um, temperance energy, which is the Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be Sagittarius. Or right, this could happen in Sagittarius season. You know what? These messages are trying to come fast. It's like the energy is pop, 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 pop. Good grief. Got me talking fast. Mm -hmm. Moving forward in abundance. Yeah, you know. You know. You already know that you have good things coming towards you. How much faith do you have in yourself? Because that's where the universe lies, baby, is within yourself. Okay? That's where love abounds. That's where God resides. With that hermit energy, you found this out. It's making me feel like you found out that you could create your own world with this world energy right here. Embracing the new, ooh, a whole new world of love. This is a new, this is a new relationship here coming in. I'm sorry, babe. I mean, I'm not sorry, but I know some of you guys, um, some of you divine feminine, excuse me. Some of you divine feminines don't believe that because with this hermit energy, it's like you're you're closed off. You're just to yourself, not really going out there dating, not really talking to anybody because of some type of heartbreak or challenging times that you went through regarding love. But with this love abounds and this world energy, embrace love abounds, baby. I can't, I can't, I can't stress it enough. Okay, so for some of my feminists, if it's not here yet. It will come, and it's going to feel good. It's going to move forward with this. Look, discernment at the bottom of that. You know what I mean? So, there is um, there is some type of understanding that you have to come within yourself in order for you to receive and accept what the universe is sending your way, okay? And you will. With go with the flow and take the lead. You will. You got to go with the flow. This is your theme of your reading. You got to go with the flow of the universe, okay? Just because you don't see it don't mean it's not here. Okay, <laughs> believing is seeing, but most people have it backwards as seeing is believing. Uh uh, believing is seeing. Once you believe a thing, you'll see it. That's that faith and works, baby. Okay, all right. Um, let's keep on. Let's uh clarify to spread your wings, Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? Why spread your wings here? Okay, thank you. We have you're very close to achieving your goals, very close to achieving your goals. Beautiful. So, yeah, take that leap of faith. This is giving me full energy. But it's making me feel like the universe is asking you to do this because you're very close to achieve, achieving your goals. So you need to spread your wings. You know what I mean? So it's making me feel like um, for some of my feminists, this person or this situation could come quickly. And you got to be prepared. Don't be hesitant, okay? Because you're still in hermit energy, so you're still healing. Hermit energy is healing to me, especially with this challenging times that you just closed the cycle out on, okay? All right, what's seek, baby? Ah, what's this, two? Okay. We have a fiery climax approaches, okay? All right, and then look at the bigger picture. This is that hermit energy. This is what you've done, okay? So for some of my feminines here, looking at the bigger picture is looking at um, things that, Look inside yourself for the things that you want to come or things that or get an understanding from the things that had happened. Okay, yeah. Um, this is the full moon of Sagittarius. Like I said, somebody could be a Sagittarius or Aries because we have full moon in Aries. The full moon is giving me the energy of somebody's sun sign. So that's, that's what's that right there. But seek and look at the bigger picture. This is what you're doing. You're seeking inside yourself what it is that you could either overcome, heal, um, Ways to, I heard some of you guys want to change your diet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is new. This is, a, this is becoming a new you. Uh-huh. This is what's happening here. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's, let's get embraced. What can you tell me about embrace? This is the world energy. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about embrace, please? And thank you. One more. Okay, I'm about to get this one. We have communication is key. Honey, boom, somebody could be reaching out to you, could be traveling to you because they want to talk to you. This is also, to getting some type of information over the internet, through a text, through an email, something of the sort. Um, yeah, I heard WhatsApp. Um, for those of you guys that's on WhatsApp, but communication is key. You could have also, too, shutting down, shutting down, <laughs> shut down some type of communication with this person that um, put you in this challenging times energy. This challenging times energy is a five of source energy. So that's mind games, bullshit, and fuckery. Okay? And it's here. This is something that you have to deal with because victory and success is right beside it. The five went to a six. You see what I'm saying? 
So this is something that you have to deal with right now. The five went to a six. So you're growing through this. You're going through this. Because on the other side of this mind games, bullshit, and fuckery, we have victory and success, which is the six of wands. So this, by you closing this cycle out, is bringing you a new energy of um, a new opportunity, I should say, of new love to come. And the universe is saying, go with, go with the flow because this could be your best love with all this abundance here and moving forward. You see what I'm saying? Do not hesitate. But I, I, I picked up that, that, that anxiety, that hesitation energy at the beginning of the reading. You know what I mean? The universe is saying, take the lead. This is your energy. You are going to take the lead onto your own life and to take back control of your life, like I said. But it's still some type of hesitancy within yourself that you're, you're going to have to keep um, walking through, processing through because you have that Hermit energy right here sitting next to the world. Okay, some of you guys didn't want this cycle to end so you just shut down. Um, that's for some. Some of you guys, it was hard for you to shut this cycle down. I mean, end this cycle. So instead of just ending it, you just shut down, ghosted, disappeared didn't answer the phone something of the sort but communication is key they're going to come back and reach back out to you because this is an unfinished business that you have um taken on divine feminine you have some unfinished business elsewhere regarding a connection or a relationship here it's making me feel like you just went ghost on somebody and somebody either needs that closure or you need to close that cycle out because it's, you still have an attachment to it. You're trying to separate yourself with this hermit and go inside yourself to see what it is that you really want. But <clears throat> there is some type of um, ending that needs to happen either within your connection or within yourself. Okay. Um, let's clarify the challenging times, please. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? One more. Thank you. Appreciate you. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Didn't I tell you that? Didn't I tell you after this challenging times, there will be a new cycle, a new opportunity for a new relationship here. And it's sitting right on top of this mind games, bullshit and fuckery. A new romantic cycle begins. I can't make this up. Nothing yet is set in snow. So th this is up to you. You know what I mean? The universe is saying go with the flow because you have an abundant connection that's coming towards you, but you still have to close out a cycle of feeling of dealing with somebody in the past that put you in that five of swords energy or you have to do a little bit more healing in order to sever that energy or that core connect that you have with that person you know them soul ties that we be tying ourselves up with when we be having sex and falling all in love and hoping a relationship work out and deciding this person is for you you yeah Best, mostly through sex I mean people don't realize it people don't think it's that important but yes it is once you lay down Intimately with somebody, that's that cord is attached, baby. Sex is a very intimate energy exchange. Some people they so numb to it that they could go out and have sex with multiple people at multiple times. But all that energy that you're sexually attracting, baby, that's <laughs> that's an STD, a spiritually transmitted disease. Okay. So you got a whole bunch of divine feminines, divine masculines walking around here with all kind of STDs, spiritually transmitted diseases, because they don't give the, the, um, how should I say? They don't give the sacred vow to sex. Anybody could get it. You got big D energy. I want it type bullshit. See what I'm saying? But you're overcoming that and you're going to have to do a little bit of cord cutting or some more cord cutting in order for you to completely free yourself and how you do this is you continue to heal. Okay? The memories in them, <clears throat> reminders of that person is going to be less and less. Them thoughts about that person is going to be less and less as you continue to go down your journey in life and not keep reflecting on who or what had happened in the past, then you'll be able to, you know, walk away and then all of a sudden that core snaps, okay? That was a message for somebody that really needed to hear that, okay? All right, thank you, Holy Spirit, for letting me convey that. I really appreciate that. Okay, Holy Spirit, um, let's clarify the victory and success for Divine Feminine. What can you tell me? What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, thank you. Luck is on your side with victory and success. Look at you, Divine Feminine. 
Luck is on your side. If a victory is success, you damn right. You damn right. Because look, you went inside yourself to really seek out your own issues, do your own shadow work. You see what I'm saying? And when you do that divine feminine, you clear away that bullshit, that father source challenging times energy. Because you go inside yourself and you, you get to know yourself a little bit more as to what you have done to cause this in your life. You see what I'm saying? Instead of blaming somebody else, you look at your participations and the um and the situation that you are currently in either regarding love or a relationship something of the sort mm -hmm. beautiful divine feminine okay holy spirit holy angels um clarify the love of balance please what can you tell me about love of balance what is this i got it conclusions are within reach Okay, love abounds, conclusions are within reach. You see what I'm saying? It's about to be a wrap. It's time for you to take action. Okay, go act, take action towards what it is that you want in life. And that's continue to heal, continue to wrap up cycles and learn lessons. And, you know, just ascend and keep moving forward. Abundance, move forward. See what I mean? Keep moving forward. You do have the power of discernment for this, baby. See what I'm saying? Honey bone. Mm hmm Okay. Let's get an advice. Holy Spirit. What advice do you have? Um, I'm gonna use some cards that again me and Holy Spirit has made together. And I think they have really good messages in here. So I'm gonna use these as the advice and then we'll keep moving. Okay, look at that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they be talking. We have can't get right. <laughs> This is why you need to continue to move forward, Divine Feminine. Um, baby Daddy. Oh, somebody Baby Daddy can't get right. They said bring that on out. This is the, like I said, this is the reason why you need to continue to move forward. Because your Baby Daddy could have put you in this Father Source energy. Just can't get right with that shit. I'm just saying. This is why you need to continue to move forward. Go with the flow. Take the lead, okay? Okay? Take the lead. You see what I'm saying? But somebody Baby Daddy can't get right. Period. Um, that's the advice. Okay. Well, we have scared. What else can you tell me? What, what advice do you have? Your baby daddy could be scared. This is why they can't get right. Um, I'm getting for some of you guys, your baby daddy is in jail. Um, and they scared. They in there because they, they did some BS and they can't get right with this five, this challenging times. I'm just saying, um, you could be scared of your baby daddy. Oh my goodness, because they can't get right or this relationship is not going to get right. Some of you guys are scared to lose your baby daddy because they just, but they just can't get white. Right. Excuse me. We have Willie. We have gossip. We have money moves. I told you you have abundance and we have don't stop. Okay, so somebody around you could be talking. To, and then we have the most high God at the bottom of the deck. Booyah. Okay. Booyah. This is your advice from the most high God. Booyah. Okay. Somebody around you is gossiping a bit about you and your baby daddy because they can't get right here. Okay. Somebody is also too scared that you'll find out. Okay. Because they're also too gossiping about how much money you make. The, the abundance here and moving forward. Oh, yeah. They're talking. They're talking. It could be your baby daddy talking about you. Uh, and how much money you got, what you're doing about money. But it says don't stop. You're willing. Yeah, willing and don't stop. Keep moving forward. That's what I'm getting. Okay, but um, yeah, with this can't get right and baby daddy, I mean, look it. What's this scared energy? Because that is out of place. That scared energy is out of place, really. Okay. Oh, I heard you, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, uh, with this money moves and don't stop and scare. Yeah, it's like your 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 child's father is you moved on and your child's father is scared. They don't know what to do without you. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. They don't know what to do without you. They talking shit with this gossip. They talking shit. What is this? We have this year, and then we have happy feelings. Okay. Okay, so something that somebody could have been feeling. And then we have next week at the bottom of the deck. So it's making me feel like things are moving and happening now. Between now and the end of the year or next week and the end of the year. You know, this scared feeling. Some of you guys, like I said, could be scared of your baby daddy because they can't get right. But this this feeling would change this year because you're going to have money moves that you're 
you're creating you're you're not you're not going backwards you're moving forward here i don't like this gossip here with the baby daddy i mean but you know they talk shit their family could be gossiping about you but you just have to stay in your lane and stay on your grind divine feminine so you could be able to have these happy feelings this year that's beginning and starting next week okay so from i would say from the start of next week to the end of the year okay these feelings is gonna change baby all of this scared this scared shit uh-uh it's gonna change the happy feelings you see what i'm saying and it's gonna be this year okay so some of you guys could be scared don't know what you're gonna do without your baby father or something of the sort but that is going to change because your money changed okay because you have abundance and move forward okay all right you see that Mm-hmm. okay all right divine feminine i'm gonna leave it right here i really like this reading i like the energies and the messages that came out of this reading for you so i hope this resonates and i hope this will help you on your journey through ascension and love okay all right my loves i will see you in the next video so till then take care bye